Welcome back everyone, I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and today I wanted to share with you a really cool grill that I was sent uh, a few months ago by a company called Nomad IQ. And uh, the reason they sent it to me was because obviously it has a very small footprint, as you can see. <laughs> you can tuck this thing away just about anywhere, a little crevice in your tiny house, keep it outside and covered or whatnot. And uh, I wanted to kind of go through it with you uh, today. I've used it quite a few times already and I've really been enjoying it. I think it's a cool gadget. Again, it takes a very small amount of space, so let's get into it. First thing you'll notice about this grill, which is actually a folding grill, I'll show you here in a second, is that it's very small, compact, compact in size. And um, the way it comes out of the box, uh, it has two sides, one uh, for each side of the grill. There's two hoses where it splits up into a Y. And uh, out of the box, the way it comes, you use these one pound propane tanks. Uh, but they also sell an adapter that is good to connect to regular gas size tanks And the good thing about that is most tiny houses have those so you can just plug into the gas that you already have we'll Go ahead and get into the juicy part. <laughs> I guess you could say of this thing I won't make this video too long. I notice a lot of videos these days it's, it's getting more and more the case where people just talk and talk and talk and never really get to the point So I wanted to go ahead and get to the point to save your time and show you if this thing might be a good fit for you uh, the first thing you'll notice is these there's the two knobs that stick out on the side and these are what actually allow you to open the grill. So what you do is you pop these out and twist. You just lift up like this and you have a grill, just like that. You'll notice these two brass ports here and this is where, again, the uh, hose that comes with it goes. Where you just put each one in and you spin it and, um, and, you, and you tighten it up a little bit and that is what uh, actually allows gas to go to flow to each side. You throw the ball? Hey, Piper, you gonna throw the ball? Go get it. <laughs> Little daughter just joined me. She's gonna help me show you how this thing works and maybe we'll throw some food on here in a second. What do you think? Yeah. All right, cool. Yep, so you just screw those in and they're just about screwed in all the way. Perfect. Put it on like this. Yep, just like that. And then like that. Go like that until you hear a flame. Cool. Got it. Now you'll notice on each side there are the controls to, for the flame. And that's obviously how you turn it on. So if you want to get gas to here, then if you lower it down just a little bit, you'll see there's an igniter. I'm not sure if you can see in there, but the flames are going there. And this at first glance when you look at the flames they're not that high so you're, my first thought was like wow this is not going to put out enough heat but as you'll see in just a little bit it's just the same amount of heat as a traditional uh, propane stove it just for some reason the flames look a little different now i don't know the way you all cook corn on the cob back at home but i'll show you the absolute best way to do it <laughs> uh, is you leave it in the husk uh, i see when i go to the grocery store i see people stripping it down away and throwing it away in the big bins and all that but to me, that just, uh, it just doesn't work. This is the absolute best way. You just get the grill going and you throw it on top, just like that, and you keep turning it as you need to, and it will steam itself inside of the husk. And we take it out juicy and perfect. Corn on the cob. I thought we were going to do mac and cheese. Piper! <laughs> <Piper. laughs> so, for any of you that are wondering, uh, probably at this point, you've noticed the micro micro tiny house behind me it's actually seven by eight and it is a prototype that tiny house listings is working on later this year we're going to try to start rolling it out where we can uh build uh these for customers and we've plugged this thing a few times on instagram we've got a lot of feedback people wanting to go ahead and purchase one which we're not quite ready in the position to do that but the idea is that any v6 car or above can tow this thing right now it's weighing in at about 1800 pounds uh, so very very lightweight uh, so we'll share more about that in the uh, upcoming video we'll go ahead and flip these things you can see it's already starting to cook a little bit on that side so as you can see it's going to be a very simple meal but we got some homemade chickpea burgers here that we made uh, so these should be very very tasty on the grill so for the main course we're going to put some homemade chickpea burgers on the grill and the secret to these are in my opinion is lots and lots of turmeric brings out the flavor We're having corn on the cob and chickpea burgers, but Piper's gonna stick to his favorite, which is cat food tuna. 
All right, everything looks done, so we're gonna pull it off, shut this down, and call it good. So then when you're putting things away, the first thing you wanna do is, of course, unscrew the propane. Basically what we did at the beginning of the video, just reverse order. Then when you're all done, the cleanup is relatively easy. They have a little finger hole, you just pick that up like that. So, and you'll scrub the, the plate down, and then down below, of course, you'll just take a towel and wipe that out. Then when they're clean, you just pop them back on, and I didn't get this perfectly clean because I just, I just don't have the patience, but most of you probably would if you bought one of these things and made the investment. Um, but yeah, you just put these back on like that. Then when you're ready to fold this thing back out, you just place these back out and lock them. You twist them like this. Close these back, ready to go. Save even more space, you could fold these uh, bottom legs together like this and twist them around so it, uh, it'll you know stow away. But of course you wanna put this back out for more sturdiness whenever you use it. All right, so that is the Nomad IQ portable grill. Perfect companion if you're a tiny houser and you have limited space, which you're obviously going to have limited space. Uh, you can just st stow this thing inside your house or anywhere outside that's protected. Uh, unfold it, cook, put it back, and you got a nice pint-sized little uh, way to cook outside. Uh, so thanks for watching. Thanks Nomad IQ for sending this along. And also follow us uh, on Instagram uh, at Tiny House Listings because we're going to be giving one of these things away. So thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Perfection.